Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but on my channel I do provide the points for all three programs and I also share calories as well. So it's St. Patrick's Day week this week and I'm planning on doing a St. Patrick's Day dessert. So I don't usually do a whole lot of desserts on my channel. Basically that's because I honestly really don't eat a whole lot of desserts. Uh, except for like around Christmas time. So this one I actually got from the Weight Watchers website and this is Easy St. Patty's Day Lime Pie. I'm not typically a lover of lime pies, but this one sounded real good and I really wanted to try it. So I did make a couple modifications. Instead of using the pie crust, I'm actually gonna use these ready crust mini crusts. So the recipe calls for a serving of eight. I'm gonna be doing it in a serving of six. So I've modified the recipe just a little bit. Instead of regular powdered sugar, I'm gonna use the swerve sugar so that it's zero points. And I did a couple other things. I think instead of the low fat whipped topping, I'm using sugar free and I believe that's it. So ingredients we're gonna need with this are one and a third cups of fat-free plain Greek yogurt. I always use the Faye brand just because for me, it doesn't leave that real tart flavor that some of the Greek yogurt leaves. We also need one and a third cups of the sugar-free Cool Whip. We need a quarter of a cup of the Swerve confectioner sugar. If you use rec regular confectioner sugar, just make sure to adjust the points in it. We're also gonna need about five drops of green food coloring. If you watched my meal plan and grocery haul video, you may have seen that I was having a very hard time finding this. And my husband went on the hunt for me and he found this last bottle way in the back shelf at Walmart. The next thing we're gonna need is two teaspoons of lime zest and then two tablespoons of lime juice. We are also gonna need two ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese and I'm using the one third less fat kind. And then, like I said, the pie crust. So if you decide to use a regular pie crust, that's fine. So this is all we're gonna do. In a large bowl, I'm gonna combine the yogurt, the one quarter cup of the Swerve powdered sugar, the cream cheese, and also the lime zest and lime juice. So I'm just gonna use my grater and just grate up some of the lime zest. So just grate up enough until you have about two teaspoons. Then we're gonna take our lime, I think I might have said lemon, if I say lemon, I meant lime. And we're gonna want about two tablespoons of lime juice, which I'm guessing should be about a whole lime. Actually, it's gonna be probably two limes. It depends on how fresh your limes are too. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna cut up another lime. All right, now we're just gonna beat it on medium for about one minute. All right, now we're gonna add the whipped topping. And then add about five drops of food coloring, which I've already gotten on my fingers from taking the top off of it. And then just beat that on low, just until it's combined. So now all we're gonna do is just put some of that filling right in each pie crust. So 
So I'm just adding a little bit of lime zest now over the top, just for a little bit of decorative. You don't have to do this part if you don't want. So now what I'm gonna do is pop these in my freezer and I'm gonna just let them stay in the freezer and when I want one, I'll pull it out and just kinda of let it get to room temperature, maybe about 30 minutes before I eat them. All right, so these have been in my freezer and now I've taken them out, I've had them out in room temperature for about 20 minutes. So I needed to do some pictures for it. So that's why I kind of put these little lime pieces in there, but I am going to taste it. Like I said, I'm not a real big one for lime. So we'll see how this goes. That's got some good flavor to it. All right, so here's the, my take on the lime taste because I'm not real big on like lime type pie things. I originally thought that I would probably back off on the lime juice and just use one tablespoon instead of two. And that's what I thought on my first bite. When I took the second bite, it kind of wasn't as strong. So you may wanna play around with that. I, I'm kind of thinking I would just leave it the way it is now. I'll tell you though, if you like lime pie, you will really like this. It's really good. So I'm honestly surprised for someone who's not a big lime pie lover. I really do like these. So the points on this ended up being seven points for blue and purple, eight points for green. It, it is a little bit higher points than I care for for desserts, but on special occasions, that's fine. I, you know, if I save my points for them, to be honest, I think I would probably be satisfied with just eating half of this as well. So that's an option. And if you're counting calories, these came out to only 187 calories. So again, it's kind of one of those things where Weight Watchers gives it a high point value, but calorie wise, it's really not that bad, 187 calories. So I'll be sure to link the recipe down in the description box below, and I'm just gonna link you to the Weight Watchers recipe, and then I'll put the modifications that I made as well. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'm Christy, and I'm planning us healthy. Don't you know that you're beautiful?